Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. In the last session we have been exploring around Sotenbori, getting a lot of sub-stories done. Oh boy, hello. Uh, we've done a absolute ton of them to be honest. There's only a few left and uh, today we are leaving it in the hands of fate as to whether we are going to clear those up right now or whether we're going to do main story right now. Uh, because the sub-story that we have started is right next to the main story, so I'm not sure which of those is going to suck us into their respective cutscene first. Uh, but uh, we shall see. I will I will walk up to it. If it lets me click the sub-story, I guess I'll do that. Or if it sucks me into main story, then I guess we will do that too. Uh, hello, friends. Nothing to see here. Looks like it's main story. Looks like it's main story. The uh, the main story so, cutscene net was wider. Doista. Kino no yoru, ima made no koto seiri shite tara iya na yokan. Yeah, I got this bad feeling that Kiyu was too happy. Iya na yokan. So now you're going to get killed. Eh. Watashi ga jingon ha no iki no kori jana ika to omotte. Dou yu koto da. Yeah, I think you are right. I think she's the kid we saw get saved at the start of the game. We figured this out a good few parts back. Or at least, it might not end up being true, but we, we figured out the possibility. Which only leaves one, right? There were three survivors. She's one. This other guy that's gone on straight and narrow is another, so that just leaves one that's actually the one causing all this shit, I guess. <laughs> also, hell yeah, snatching the cig out of his mouth. Well in. Fuck cigarettes. All my homies hate cigarettes. The chief said we'll find Marai somewhere called Kaima. I need to hear what he has to say. Uh. You're sure about this, though? Eh. Don't worry about me. Whatever he can say, I can handle it. Mm. But first, we'll need to hit the streets to see if we can even find the place. Okay. How hard do we have to hit the streets? Uh, right. I guess they're not going to make it easy for us, huh? Hello. Any idea? Oi. Do you know of a place called Kaima? Mm. Mm, nope. I've lived here for years and that doesn't ring any bells. Well, that's fucking great. Well, that's a bunch of dickheads that way. Oh wait, this is a dead end, isn't it? God damn it. Well, I guess we got to fight the dickheads. Oh, wait, they vanished. Okay, I'll take it. I suppose you would know, would you? Shogi, south of Shofu Kucho. Where's Shofu Kucho? Here. Oh, it's marked on the map now, right. Wait, it wasn't marked on the map before, right? <laughs> Am I crazy? I don't think it was marked before, right? It's just been marked because of that. Surely. Surely. Wait, there's another person here that wants to join up? Yuriko. There you are, Kiyu-san. Yuriko. She's Miki's older sister, that poor girl... That poor girl who got caged up like some kind of wild animal. Thank you for all the help. Seriously. Of course. How's Miki doing? Finally awake, thank God. The doctors say she's got to stay in the hospital a bit longer, but she's almost home free. That's great news. Ain't it? Anyway, I owe you one, so I want to do you a solid. What do you mean? I want to help you run this here shop you got. You mean... Forshine? You do know this is a cabaret club, right? Maybe this isn't the most appropriate way to say thanks. Nonsense. You're recruiting hostesses, ain't ya? I saw your ads floating around Sotenbori. Well, yeah, but... If she's really serious about this, I have no business turning her down. We do need the help. 
All right, I'll see what I can do. Great, thank you much. She's an S tier? Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's like three people in the last brief amount of time that have all gone, hey, I want to work here. Oi. Excuse me, do you know of a place called Kaima? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, she's asking now, which means this is probably the guy. Hey, excuse me, ever heard of a place called Kaima? Mm -hmm. Kaima? Mm -hmm. I've heard the name, but I couldn't tell you where it is. I see. The reason I know it, though, is because I knew a guy who was in and out of there back in the day. Nanny. Then you do know it. How about three big bills for the tip? Sure. Uh. Fine. <laughs> oh, I do enjoy a smooth negotiation. Well, a deal's a deal. The guy who can get you in is a gambling man who goes by Ginkaku. There's a rundown bar west of Shofukucho called Mino. He used to hang out there. And that's all I know. Pleasure doing business with you. 30k is nothing to us at this point of the game. Well, couldn't get through that. Yeah, what he said. Do 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 do. Oh, wait, wrong place. Uh, in here. No good. It's locked. Uh, examine the note. Mm. This poster looks pretty old. Yeah. But look, there's a phone number on it. I'll just jot this down. It's 090XXXXXXXX. Surely this will work. Mm. It's probably a cell phone. Give it a call, maybe. When you want to make a phone call, select phone number memo from your valuables. Motherfucker, that literally was three numbers and then the rest of it was blotted out. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a magical number, I guess. Oh. They actually picked up. Oi. Hello. I have reason to believe you can tell me about a place called Kaima. There's this popular hostess down at Red Sirloin. Goes by Yukina-chan, and she's known for being pleasantly plump. Her sizes, please? Mm. What the hell? What's that have to do with anything? There's this popular... Okay, so we need to find out the code phrase to get through this. What the? He hung up. Uh... What now, then? Really? I feel like I got past them. <laughs> Get kicked in the head, mate. Surprise, bitch. Non lethal. Love the flying kick. Shibara
big fan. Man, this quest is giving us a fucking runaround, huh? <sighs> I'm already missing you, Kina Chan. Once you lay eyes on that flaxen body, all other hostesses cease to exist. I got her sizes, you know. She's 110, 100, 109. 110, 100, 109. <laughs> Uh, right, I just call again now then, I guess. Uh, what was it? Inventory. Oh, boy. Wait, but there's... Wait, it's 110, 100, 109. But wait, which... <laughs> Would it be 100? What are we talking about here? No, it'd be 110, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, is that is that the top measurement? I was like, yeah, probably. That's right. Make yourselves comfortable down at Mino for a spell. Oi. Wait, what? <laughs> Damn. He hung up. Back to the bar. This has been a massive fucking goose chase. Unlocked. Nani. How strange. <laughs> Ugh, what smells so damn foul? <clears throat> Doesn't seem like the place has gotten much use lately. Hmm? This note refers to shogi pieces. From left to right, it says King, Gold General, Silver General, Pawn. What's the significance, though? This shogi board has some pieces on it. Oh, fuck me. Have I got a. So I need king, gold, silver, pawn, and this from left to right is gold, rook, king, pawn, bishop, silver. From left to right. Okay, so the the top left one needs to be the second one. The bottom right one needs to be the third one. Uh, one, two, three. The top one at the moment is king, and then the next one is pawn. Okay. So I need to I'll need to reorder them or something, do I? Or maybe not. Can I reorder them? Hmm. It doesn't let me actually do anything with it, so I don't know. I thought I'd have to reorder it. Hmm. Oh, I hmm. see. I see, I see. Uh, five, eight, two, four. Five, eight, two, four. Uh. Oi. I was right. <laughs> what? Shareholders ticket. Hello? Well done. Wasn't that simple? Now, go order a Christmas present at Comian. Boy. What the? He hung up. He hung up. Bro, this is the most insane wild goose chase. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This feels like fucking opening mission of Yakuza 1 vibes. Where I just want to fucking shoot myself in the head. Rather than actually complete it. Oh good, now I've got to fight these dickheads again. Or not? They let me 
No! I got stuck on the fucking wall, goddammit. I was told to order a Christmas present. Hi. Ah, that. Just take a seat, sir. Hmm? There's something hard in this. What the hell? <laughs> Ryuma, please. Bro. Bro, this quest. This quest. How is this a main story quest? Well, I found this in the food. A shogi piece? What do you think it means, though? Oh, hey, buddy, what a coincidence. Did you get to meet Ginkaku? Yeah. No. The latest hoop I jumped through ended up giving me the shogi piece. <sighs> that's so. Huh? Oh, hey, that piece. That's not a Ryuma piece, is it? Mm. Excuse me. Look, why don't you just give me that piece, bud? Not like it means anything to you, am I right? Boy. I'm still not sure what all this is supposed to mean, quite frankly. Huh? Then come on, hand over that piece. Huh? We're not going to just hand it over while we're in the middle of this wild goose chase. Want to explain why it's so important? Mm. What a yappy bitch. Okay, time to fucking get the shit kicked out of you. If you won't hand it over, it's only gonna bring you pain. Dumb fuck. Get on the fucking floor, mate. What is this music? Hello? What the fuck? Never seen that one before. Where are your teeth, mate? They've gone. They've gone missing. Damn you. So, care to tell us what's so important about this piece? It's your turn to be the yappy bitch. Ooh, got him. <sighs> that piece. It was crafted by a master, considered a treasure among us shogi players. It's basically a golden ticket into even the most underground shogi parlours. Any shogi player worth his salt would kill to have one. So I guess I'm letting you off the hook today. I won't show no mercy next time, cope. Cope harder. Hello? Impressive work. That piece is quite coveted, so I'd be careful if I were you. Come on. How long do we have to play this stupid game? Oh, don't be that way. This is fun. For me, anyway. No hard feelings, I hope. Boy. I just want to know where Kaima is. Show that piece to Santa Claus and his red-nosed reindeer will guide the way. Nani. Nani. What? Santa Claus? This is getting even more ridiculous. That's all the help I'll give you. May your moves bring you closer to victory than ruin. Find Santa Claus. Why on earth is it pointing me to fucking a billion different places? Oh boy. Well, this is easily the worst quest in this game. This quest fucking blows big fat cock. Wish I had ended up doing the sub stories today. Boy. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus by any chance? Huh? Huh? Fuck me, really? Oh, 
時間食っちまった。What a fucking sleep-inducing quest. This this feel this feels like weak substory material. Definitely not fucking main quest material. Boy. Hmm. Ah. Oh boy. Here we go again. Lol, they didn't fucking get me? Okay. Thanks, I guess. Let me talk to you, fuck me. Oh, this is the guy. Okay. Don't know how you got it, but ain't my circus, ain't my monkey. Follow me. Thank fuck for that. We're running things from here today. ここはアベックが来るとこやないわ杉浦平之助の作品やないかよう手に入れたのほんで誰と刺したんや村井だ村井村井という男よ村井さんねこれは昭和59年名人戦最終局の142手目の場面やここで挑戦者の矢蓋は5八馬とさして勝負に出ただがこれが敗因で矢蓋は負けた4三に銀を打って王を固めるのが定石なことはプロなら誰でもわかるのに。矢蓋はなぜか勝負に出た皆はボンミスや言うがわしにはそうは思えんかった聞きたいことがあるんです若い女子に答えられるようなことは何一つあらへん府警の別所からあなたのことを聞いてきたんです安心してください私は別所の部下です人言派のことをお聞きしたいんです二十数年前のカムロ町での事件覚えていますよね私もその時に生き残った一人かもしれないんですあの時現場にまだ物心がつかない子供はいませんでしたか一人おった詳しくく聞かせてください何も知らんでも生きていけるのならその方がいい。Bit late for that. 教えてください。We in way too deep for that. ヤブタは名人戦に負けた後。公式戦から遠ざかって酒を浴びるほど飲んで体を壊して死んでしもた絶対に名人になるんやと思っとったが
多分己の実力じゃ無理や言うことを悟ったんやそれが自分の運命やとなせやから最後に自分らしい手を指して死を選んだんや人の人生っちゅうのは残酷やあんたは今まで過去を知らんでも生きてこれたんや余計なことを知っていらぬ運命を背負うことはないどんな過去でも受け止める覚悟はできていますだからあなたに会いに来たんですお願いします教えてくださいお願いしますありゃクリスマスの夜やったクリスマスお祭り気分のわしらの隙をつくように同時間組が襲ってきてアジトにいた構成員は次々と葬られた。けどあなたを含めた3人が運よく生き残ったあああなたは河原さんと別所さんの助けで関西に逃れたのねせやけど本国から送られてきた構成員に居場所を突き止められてしもただがわしはこうして生き延びることができたどうしてを撃ったんや生き残った他の二人を撃ったのじゃあキム・デジンとジヨンミンやないキム・デジンとジヨンミン当時二人は十六歳やったがなぜか難を逃れたその後の行方はわからんそれじゃああなたが撃った仲間っていうのは誰なの実はあと2人おったんや生き残りがそれはボスの女房とその子供や子供の、sudden cut to black hello <笑> ah here we go The original scene from the very start of the game. Han Jung Yonia Negachuko to Chuchikun Yamone Pugopara. This is the shogi player, right? Yeah. Just fucking big chillin' walking around with his shirt off. Kyushu got hazrete. Why she was eating a good dish, Mota. Long may they continue to find ways to bring Shimano back into the cutscenes without him actually being alive. So the Kara Murai to you, Namayo Morate, Kosh the Ikino Vitorunia. Sir Sayaman of Chichoeva, Shingon Hano Bus. その後、ボスの奥さんと子供はどこへ
Kawara san ga kochi e nigashita. Oh, the wife did escape. Ja, anata wa jibun ga tasukaritai tame ni. Oh, right, this was. Okay, I thought. Yeah, no, that makes sense. For some reason, I thought this was when he sold them out, but no. He sold them out after that night. That was the original night, and then those two got away, and then he sold them out again. Well, not again. He sold them out for the first time, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. 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 ヒゲを生やした男やったそれは風間のおやっさんだえ俺を育ててくれたあの風間慎太郎だ本当にああ俺もその場にいたジンゴンハノレンチュカソーダビルのバカもユカイモテメラのシワザダナソーダソンアンタニュアレオユソノウラギリモノノ居場所を突き止めてくれたんだからなこの男に手出しする前に You'll have to go through me ゴーダ会長の居場所を吐かせてやる無駄やそいつらは本国の戦友部隊や絶対に口を割るようなことはせん、mm. Watch me make a motherfucker So ゴーダ会長の居場所を教えてもらおうか<笑> For some reason I thought they turned the lights out No, that was my screen going dark from not having fucking touched the controller <laughs> I hadn't realized I thought they'd like turned the lights out as they threw the knife as like a fucking disorientation move No, I just needed to move my fucking controller Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. ジンゴハノ起きてや。わしも起きてに従っておけばよかったんや。昔他人様に散々迷惑をかけた男が人並みに幸せな生活を送りたいなどと思ったが、間違いやったんや。目に逆らったらあかんのや。あの時死んでしまえばよかったんや。あの世でおふくろさんに娘さんは立派になったと報告しとくわ。幸せになるんやで。
the somehow instant kill knife to the stomach. <laughs> it's a classic. Well, those were some pretty fucking cool scenes. Ooh, Majima Saga Chapter 3. I believe that's the final Majima Saga Chapter, right? I believe it was a three-part thing you guys were saying. Uh, but we will do that after we beat the base game. Oh, okay. That's the end of that chapter, is it? Chapter 12, Osaka Castle. 